This fire was so intense that firefighters had to call for a second and third alarm for additional assistance to help put it out. For a time, neighbors nearby told me they were worried about the safety of their own buildings and homes. Yeah, I do have fire on all three floors. Smoke was everywhere in the whole area. Attention all units, evacuate, evacuate, evacuate. All flames were erupting out of the roof of the building. So we're going to transition from offensive attack to defensive. This fire impacted 24 units at Holly Hills condominiums around four. This man saw it all unfold from his home across the park. The bottom floor and part of the second floor was on fire. You could feel the heat. I was standing on my patio. Fourth floor went up like the roof blew and it shot debris down to the other end of the field. And I'm screaming like, the grass on fire, the grass on fire. When firefighters got to the scene, they couldn't use the private hydrant next to the building. It was inactive. Do not go in the building until you have water in your hose line. We had water on our truck, and after that point, it only took us seven minutes to get the water flowing from WSSC hydrants. That's part of our standard operating procedure. We know that we can get a higher flow from them, so that's where we look to first, depending on the size of the fire. And on this one, that's what we wanted to start with. As for now, we don't know what caused this fire. Luckily, officials say no one got hurt. Extreme blessing. Extreme blessing. John Henry, WUSA 9.